have ever found yourself procrastinating, start here. My action plan for procrastination, or MAP, is your personalized action plan. MAP uses evidence-based science, proven pro tips, and brain boosters for overcoming procrastination. MAP will help you get started, stay focused, and keep learning. This video presents MAP 1, Get Started. Procrastination happens to all of us at some phase in the learning process and at all levels of learning. Research finds the mind prioritizes the needs of the present moment, and this present bias makes distractions feel more important than long-term needs, such as an upcoming exam. And if the exam grade is your primary motivation for studying, research finds procrastination will be even more likely. End goals can be incentive for doing what you don't want to do, but more often, a results focus makes any setbacks or points of confusion feel like a failure of learning or of making any progress toward the goal, and the brain treats these negative feelings a lot like pain. So procrastination becomes a short-term mood regulator, making the pain temporarily go away even if putting off the work ultimately causes you more pain. With a process focus instead, do-overs and points of confusion are expected and important parts of the learning process. While still not easy parts, you can manage them with effective learning strategies such as talking with classmates and getting feedback on work in progress. You are not alone in the learning process. We all encounter setbacks in the pursuit of knowledge and skills. Use MAP1 to manage negative feelings and fears of failure by focusing on the process of learning. When you focus on the process, you are being mindful of what you're thinking, feeling, and doing so you can give focused attention to your work and be flexible with changing learning situations. Use a process focus to maintain motivation in the face of setbacks, such as getting distracted or being interrupted. How do you focus on the process? Start here with Map 1. Make a plan every day for what would make you successful. If today, Reading chapter 3 would make you successful? Put that on your plan. But more than a task list, make a strategic plan. Consider why you are reading chapter 3. What is the learning objective? Are you reading to remember, such as to memorize new terms? Are you reading to understand, such as to examine a new concept? Will you be applying the reading to solve a problem? Will you have to analyze it or evaluate it in an essay, or create a presentation from what you have read? You might need to look ahead to the course discussion or unit assignment to know the intended objective, but also consider what would make you successful. Identifying your learning objective will improve your focus as you seek to engage with what is important to understand. Also plan for not understanding. It is normal to feel bewildered at times when learning, so build that into your plan. Make trying to understand part of your learning process. Dr. Abigail Lipson's research found confusion is often viewed as a failure to learn or a failure to teach, when it's actually a gap in knowledge, so she advises us to anticipate this gap. On your daily plan for success, break each task into strategic steps for greater understanding, such as reading the chapter more than once, rereading the seminar notes, calling a classmate, looking up terminology, and locating an article that offers another perspective on the topic. When using Map 1, also use these brain boosters. Taking notes during 
or after reading will keep you process focused and help you remember and retain what you have learned. Logging notes on your completed daily plan, reflecting on and recapping your successful work that day will additionally keep you focused on your process and reinforce what you have learned. Mm-hmm.